Amid the prolonged medical dispute, the government has announced its plans to create a new medical supply system, which will be set by September. In the meantime, professors at one of the country's major hospitals are voting on whether to continue their walkout into next week. Ian, he has the latest. The medical dispute continues in South Korea with no breakthrough between the government and the medical community. And on Thursday, the Presidential Special Committee on Medical Reform held its fourth meeting. It announced its plans for a new two-step system to manage the supply of medical personnel by September. According to Chief Do Yeon Hong, there will be two special committees. One comprised of experts that will discuss the supply of medical professionals, which will then report to the decision-making body. The second is the final decision-making body, which will be led by the health minister. Conducting estimates through research as needed for the supply of medical personnel and workforce policy decisions has frequently resulted in social conflicts. Therefore, the committee has agreed to systematize the decision-making processes to enhance rationality and societal trust in healthcare workforce policies. These organizations will address workforce policies, including adjustments to university enrollments, which have been a long-held point of dispute between the government and the medical community. Opposing the government's plan to expand the medical school quota, medical professors at Seoul National University Hospital and its affiliate hospitals began an indefinite walkout on Monday. An emergency committee from the hospitals held a meeting on Thursday to vote on whether to continue the strike into next week. The health ministry, during a briefing on Thursday morning, urged the Korean Medical Association to reconsider its indefinite strike, starting on June 27. The government urged the KMA to resolve issues through dialogue with the government rather than causing anxiety among patients and the public through collective strikes. However, the walkout plan announced by the Korean Medical Association on Tuesday by its president, Im myon tae is facing criticism within other areas of the medical community, saying they were unaware of the decision. The Korean Inter-Resident Association also expressed opposition to the KMA, calling it a unilateral decision. The Korea Severe Disease Association on the same day requested the government hold a public hearing to discuss the deployment of doctors with foreign licenses to provide medical services in the country. Lee Eun-hee, Arirang News.